all been told to never touch a socket with our wet hands. But why? Does that mean water conducts electricity just like metals do? Well, not exactly. It actually depends on the kind of water that we are talking about. And that's true for all liquids as well. Some are great conductors of electricity, while others barely let any current pass through, unlike metals, where almost all of them conduct electricity really well. So what decides whether a liquid can conduct electricity or not? Let's find out. And for that, let's start with a quick recap. What does it take for any substance to conduct electricity? It needs something that can move and carry electric charge through it. And in metals, that something is the free electrons. It's the free electrons, right? Free electrons move through metals and carry electric charge. So, say when we create wires out of metals to be used in circuits, those wires, they already contain free electrons inside them. They already contain the free electrons inside them. The battery's job is to simply push these electrons around the circuit once the switch is closed. Right? Once the switch is closed. This flow of electrons that we are seeing here is what we call as electric current. It's called as electric current. And this is what makes our appliances work, our fans spin and our bulbs glow. So metals, they can conduct electricity because electrons can move freely through them. Electrons can move freely through them. But what about liquids? They don't have any free electrons like metal do. So how do they conduct electricity? You see, liquids conduct electricity not because electrons move through them, but because of ions. Ions are charged particles that move and carry the charge. And how do ions form? If you need a quick recap on that, continue watching or else you can skip to the next section of the video. Ions are just atoms or molecules that have gained or lost electrons. And when that happens, they become positively charged or negatively charged. And we call them a positive ion or a negative ion respectively. For example, during the formation of table salt or sodium chloride, a sodium atom can lose an electron to form a sodium ion that is Na plus and a chlorine atom can gain an electron to become a chloride ion or Cl minus. And how do we get these ions in any liquid? There are three kinds of compounds that can dissociate in water to form ions. It's acids, bases and salts. And when these compounds are added into water, they break apart into ions and those ions can actually move around freely in the liquid and that's what makes a liquid able to conduct electricity. Let's make this concrete. Take table salt for example, which is NaCl, okay? If we add it to water, when it dissolves in water, it splits into sodium ions and chloride ions. Both of these ions can move through the liquid and that movement allows electric current to pass. So if a liquid has free moving ions, it conducts electricity and it's a good conductor. If it doesn't, it's a poor conductor. Now let's test a few everyday liquids. You can even predict before I say it whether it's a good conductor or a poor conductor. First, let's start with lemon juice. Lemon juice contains citric acid and that forms ions in solution. Therefore, it's a good conductor. Second, let's talk about vinegar. What do you think? Vinegar has acetic acid. Again, forms ions in a solution and therefore, it's a good conductor. Next, let's talk about soap solution. Soap is a base, right? So, in solution, it dissociates into ions. Again, it's a good conductor. Great. Moving on to cooking oil. Now, cooking oil does not have acids or bases or salts. So, it's a poor conductor. And what about pure alcohol? No ions here either, right? So, it's a poor conductor of electricity. Now for the most interesting one, water itself. 
pure distilled water does not contain any salts or ions. So it's actually a poor conductor of electricity. But the water that we use every day, that is tap water or mineral water, has dissolved salts and minerals. Those salts split into ions which can move freely. And that's why tap water can conduct electricity and that is exactly why you should never handle electric sockets with wet hands. So that's about it for this video. Now let's summarize what all we have learnt. Electricity in metals flows because of electrons, right? It flows because of electrons. Electricity in liquids flows because of ions. These ions, they move and carry charge. And where do these ions come from? It comes from acids, bases or salts, right? They come from acid, bases or salts. Pure liquids without ions like distilled water, oil and alcohol, they are poor conductors. Whereas tap water, mineral water, lemon juice, vinegar, these are good conductors of electricity.